What is going on, guys? RCD, right back at you with another one. So the holidays are upon us, and if you guys are anything like me, you probably took the opportunity of some of the great deals that they had out there. This is my new charger that I have for my RC setup. This is the IMAX B6 charger. Some of you guys may have heard of it. Very popular in the community. It is six amps of charging, up to two amps of discharge, and a lot of other things you guys probably can read for yourself. But right now, what I wanted to do is just bring to you guys some of the importance of having a good charger for your batteries. Not just any type of charger, but a professional balance charger. And because these things are so affordable, it's really no reason I don't want to say there's no excuse for not getting one because everyone budget is a little bit different. So I don't want to sound like a, you know, like an a-hole and say, yo, everybody should have a balance charger, a really, a really, really good one. I don't, I don't want to go and say something like that, something that's stupid, but I do want to say if you don't have one, try saving your money up and get yourself one because this is safety. This ensures that your batteries are going to last for a very, very long time and taking care of your stuff. Okay, so if I were you, before I go out and buy new batteries, just consider actually buying a, a, a better charger for your batteries. You'll charge them quicker, more safely, and enough for that. I don't want to beat anybody up or make anyone feel bad who don't have one of these guys. But they do come in handy. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys. Kind of lets you get just an overview of what the package actually looks like before I crack it open. All right, let's get under here. Man, unboxings are so awkward if you ain't using a tripod, right? So let me just try and... So I'm telling you guys to buy new chargers. Some of you probably saying you need to get a tripod. <laughs> Hey, and that's fair, man. So anyway, when you pop the lid on it, this is what it looks like. You have the charger itself. Yes, I have been playing with this. So it doesn't have all the sticky tape and all that protective stuff on it. I have been playing with it. And then you have some accessories here. These are your cables. And that's pretty much it for right now. It's an owner's manual somewhere around here in my office. Let me get this off the table and give you guys a good shot at this. And this is pretty much what you're working with right here. Okay? Give me a minute. I'm gonna give you guys um, just a small screen. I'm gonna give you guys a screenshot. Not a screenshot. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and let you guys see exactly what it looks like when it's plugged in. Give me a moment. Okay, so before I plug this thing in, I actually wanted to um, to actually go over a few of the connectors, uh, a few of the options that you have in terms of connections, okay? So for one, as you guys can see on this side of things, this is actually where you would either link up with a PC or choose a power source for the charger itself, okay? If you turn it to this side, this is just heat sink material which is very very this is a plus because this thing can get up to five amperes of um of charging so on this end it's pretty standard this is actually the end that um that you would connect your batteries to these outlets right these outlets right here so it goes from all the way from two to six s which is pretty cool and we'll cover this in a minute for right now we're going to go over here and you see this is not as much of a heat sink as the other but with this being all metal the whole casing on this thing is actually uh, um, it actually aids in heat dissipation so you're going to need that uh, it's better to get one that's all metal than to get one that's plastic because these things can get pretty uh, hot with so much um with that type of voltage running at the amperes that this thing here can can uh, can withstand. So, back to this side of things, what I want to pay attention to, want you guys to pay attention to, are the two different 
power input options that you have here. You got a DC in, meaning that you can use a uh, barrel connector here, and it's compatible from 11 to 18 volts. So that means that you can basically use like a car battery or something and run this thing as well. So why would you want to use a car battery for that? Well, if you're on a trail somewhere, say for instance, if you guys are out <clears throat> camping and you take your cars with you, your RC vehicles with you, and you need a charging station, you can use your, you can actually use your vehicle as a charging station. Because most car batteries are 12 volts uh, at rest, a little bit over 12 volts, but when you start the engine of the car, you're looking at over 14 volts. Uh, some applications, some audio app auto application, car applications, actually give you more than four, uh, 14 volts. So this would be perfect for that. So which of the connections, that, the connectors that came in the box, would you use for that? Well, let's get to that next. This is one that I didn't have before. I didn't show it to you guys, but that's that barrel connector right there that I was just just finished telling you guys about. If I can get some light on it. Let me give you guys a better angle than that. Sorry about the bad angle, guys. You see that? That's the barrel connector. And that's pretty much what it looks like on the inside right there. If you guys can appreciate that. On the other end of that, you got the barrel connector on one end, and then you have the alligator clamps on the other end. Okay? So this would simply open like so and allow you to, to actually power it like that. So that goes in here. And then your DC source is where these will connect to. And I just use a car battery for an example, but you can use other DC uh, sources as well. If you can find an old laptop, a laptop, a laptop battery, <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, a laptop charger, you can also use that to go here. Most lap, most um, laptop chargers will um, be within that voltage range. Just, just make, make sure you don't go over 18 volts and you should be just fine. Okay. All right, so two other connectors that I didn't talk about much on, on this side of things is the heat sensor, which you would have to buy separately. Okay. And also the PC link, which is also sold separately. That means you can actually connect this to your PC um, as a uh, Wi-Fi module. And it's actually sold uh, separately. It will connect also to a uh, phone application and allow you to remotely control your charging station. We have the box over here and let you guys see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. And it is compatible with both Android and Apple or iOS. And that's where it would connect to right there. Okay. Putting that to the side. I'm not going to talk about that. You guys should be familiar with this already. This is just your standard connector. Well, this is not a, actually a standard connector, but this connector actually goes on the other side of things. This is not to charge or run the application, but just to get you set up with this Dean's connector on the other end for your batteries. In case you guys are wondering what that, I'm sorry, what that connector was all about. But that's not what I wanted to talk talk with you guys about as of now. What I wanted to go over is more of these connectors here. Just know that all of these have Dean connectors, which is why I just showed you that guy. These are the females, and these are the male. This is the male end here that attaches to this guy. Okay. So why, why would you need this? This is pretty much an adapter piece, so why would you need 
this male adapter piece. Say for instance, if you were charging different types of batteries, not all batteries have the same type of connector. So that's why they give you multiple options here. Default is the Dean connector. And to make things simple for myself, when I purchased this battery right here, I just made sure it had a Dean connector on it, that I purchased one with the Dean connect, with the female Dean connector on it. Because I know my, my main charging cable had a, a male Dean connector. But your battery may be, may be fitted for this right here. This is the uh, XT60 type um, connector. If I can get that. There you go. The XT60s connector. And of course the alligator clamps can attach to just about anything regardless of, I'm going to say regardless of what kind of ends your battery have on you but these can connect to many different things and you even got these guys here some people use these little guys for like charging individual cells on certain batteries god I can't get this thing to focus I can't get it to focus guys I'm sorry about that but you guys see it has this one here has two prongs in it this one here also has two prongs in it, but they are, of course, shaped differently. Okay, moving on. What we're going to be talking about now is actually getting this thing connected to a different power source. We talked earlier about the DC power. You know, I used the example of a car battery. Now we're talking about AC voltage. This is straight from a wall outlet. And as you guys can see on there, it says that it's compatible with an AC input of 100 to 240 volts. So that means you can use this in the States and across seas, in the European nations. And it's compatible in between 50 and 60 hertz. Very good uh, balance charger. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, Go ahead and get it actually connected. And um, let's see, guys, see what it looks like when it comes on. Okay. And there you go, it's actually set to charge a 3S LiPo. And the reason why, like I said earlier, I was playing with it earlier. And this is a 3S LiPo, which is why it is um, actually looking for that. It's the last set, the last, this is what I last used it for. So it's still left on that setting. Didn't reset itself, which is actually good. And this isn't so much as a, demo of of this as it is just an, an overview uh, I plan on it just being an unboxing but I said for the new guys I wanted to show you guys a bit more so let's just hit the stop button that takes you out of that um, particular charging program that you was in which is what's for lipo and to move through the status the statuses I just wanted you guys to see the different types of battery that it can uh, charge. So you have lipo, you have iron, lit that, I'm sorry, that was lithium polymer, lithium iron, lithium ion, lithium, wow, I don't even know what this one is. Um, lithium HV, if anybody know what that is, leave it in the comment section below. I don't have any of those batteries. Nickel metal hydride, Nickel, nickel uh, cadmium and lead acid. You can actually charge lead acid batteries. If you guys are wondering what the lead acid batteries are, those are the ones that actually go in, inside of most cars. So you can charge a car battery with this guy. Okay, you got a battery meter. Battery resistance. You can set all this stuff. System settings. 
battery memory and back to lipo this is where we started so as you guys can see this thing can do a whole lot i'm not going to demo it here maybe in another video if you guys uh request that uh but for right now just know for all you more experienced guys this video was not for you maybe i should have said that in the beginning uh this is for the guys who maybe you know don't know a whole lot about chargers such as this maybe they get intimidated by it maybe they think it's hard you know, um, but it's not. It's not. It's not something to be feared. Uh, if, if anyone else learned it, you can learn it. That's the way I look at it. So, um, you know, just a tip that someone gave me a long time ago: before you go out and spend a whole lot of money on things such as batteries and all these other different uh, things to play around with, focus on safety first and convenience. You know, this thing right here can save you a whole lot of money, time, and effort. Uh, if you just, you know, make the investment, you know, read the owner's manual, look at some, some, some videos that's already, you know, you know, some people who've done it before you, it'll make your life a whole lot more easier. So that's kind of like what I'm doing is just encouraging you guys to go out and spend your money wisely. 